Rowdy Planka. You are now tuned into Fastness on Black Nation TV. Today we are in Pretoria covering the whole social market happening. It's happening on this side, so let's go check it out. in Pretoria at the social markets. We are with the brainchild, this is Cizo, and this is my dear. I can't pronounce that right, right? My dear. My word. My this is Black Nation Fasteners. They're going to introduce themselves and let's hear what they're about. I'm Cizo, like you said, and I'm the co-founder of the social market. This is the founder. Yeah, um, basically uh, one other yeah, like big thing about why this is all here. Yeah. Is honestly really because like we felt the demand of something like this you know the gap that we had uh, in Pretoria you know as the capital city you know of the state and basically it was more about the fact that Joburg as I know Black Nation is well based in Joburg you know like Joburg is, is well established with stuff like this you know, there's a lot of such things happening that side your neighborhoods your Mabone increasing you know there's all of this happening but we really felt like there was a need, you know, to actually bring it home. We, we've we been those people that have always gone to the other side, you know, to fetch and actually just be about that life. But we realized that, you know, we have our own people and we have our own following. And we have people here that want to, you know, be a part of a movement, you know, that can, you know, be defined as something like this, you know, a social space where we can all come together and, you know, learn something from one another, you know. Yeah, so we're back to the city of gold. We just wrapped up in Pretoria at the social market. It was a success. This is Black Nation Fastness. The rain's about to show us limbs, so let's be out to the studio. Nice. Well, yeah. So with regards to the, the social market, is this an annual thing? Does it happen weekly, monthly? Like, how do people know about the social markets and when, when is it being really hosted? Because it seems like it happens quite frequently. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. um, we have it on the first Sunday of every month. So it's every single month, the whole year. And we had our first one in September last year. Um, and since then, we've just been doing it every month. So yeah, it's been pretty cool. We let people know, like using social media, we have an Instagram page, Facebook page, a Twitter page, and we also like post um, things about the social market in our own profiles, just to like push it and stuff, you know. So yeah. Because because we were with the way show. What I'd like to actually find out from you guys in terms of your image and your look, mm -hmm. influences. Where do you guys get your reference from, or is it is your wardrobe just? like this or do you guys like look for something and work on it well we thrift shop yeah. so you, what you find there that's it yeah. you know what i mean there's no like okay let's make this or we don't make our clothes or whatever we'll buy something maybe at a thrift shop and then we'll tailor it down or just you know customize it a little bit make it yeah, look cooler yeah. or something but other than that yeah it's just we thrift a lot too. but there's a lot of dna in us you know, there's a lot of um, passion and pushing. Like we thrift for clothes, right? So when we go there, we don't know what we're gonna find. Yeah. But whatever that we find, we make sure we work with. It, you know, it doesn't matter what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. But also, like we, yeah, you look at like different type of things. Like people blog and they look at different blogs. We look at guys more maybe like your Harajuku, yeah. yeah. you know, yeah. she's always on that, you like yeah. Tokyo, yeah. Japan, yeah. you know, yeah. uh -huh. and it's always about the 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 more extreme type of fashion and more the than the subtle. With, with us, we we enjoy being extreme. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because I feel like you know how this whole movement came in South Africa it was that whole retro vintage, yeah, yeah, and yeah. everybody was doing it. Everyone was like, yeah. Yeah. This is so awesome. Let's look old school, but and that's how it all started. I mean, when I met him, he was like super vintagey and yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. and I was like just chilled, you know, I was normal, yeah. 
yeah. modern day fashion, but I was fashionable, mm-hmm. but just not like that. And I saw that and I was like, oh, this is really cool. And then, you know, it got me into it, it, you know what I mean? And since we got into it, we just always want to push it one step higher, you know what I mean? It's, 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 a, yeah, it's about the style more than the fashion. Yeah. Because yeah. we are chairman, we South Africans. Yeah. It's cool. We're schooling all these people. It doesn't matter. You think maybe we know inspiration comes in so many ways, guys. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, because I, I'm not a fashion student. I didn't go to fashion school. Yeah. Nobody taught me how to, you know, sew or whatnot. Mm-hmm. I did all that myself because I wanted to, you know, be that person. But at the same time, I'm a, I'm a final logistics student at the, you know, uh, t- at TUT. The Tswani University yeah, of Technology yeah, yeah. in Pretoria, yeah. So it's actually just like a shift around. You think I actually I'm this person, but I'm not that person. I'm actually trying to, you know, be a different person who has this background and this background. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I believe in empires and shit and, and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But it's it's about if you believe that you can drive an Avantador tomorrow, or you just be the typical random person who's gonna go and buy a bank and they feel like it's so comfortable man you know what i mean it's being a dreamer more than all they dreamers out there but they get laughed at so it's about if you take all that laughing from all that people or are you gonna use that you know bring a positive side to it try and convince them that guys no i'm not just crazy i'm actually a visionary i'm a dreamer <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah. You now tuned in to Fastness on Black Nation TV. And this are the Fashion Rebels. Check out our social pages, the social market, and come to the next event, which will be on the first of April. Oh my God! Ah, what's good? Fastness, Black Nation TV. That's how we do. So I'm just trying to. I don't know how to get the moments. Ah. Ah. Bye. Yeah. Thank you.